Well, they say a picture paints a thousand words, but this gorgeous photo does more than that. It's had an award-winning doco made about it, and the story that led to this point, though, is quite traumatic, painful and inspiring in equal parts. Photographer Tim Elwin joins us now from Manly Beach. It's good to see you, Tim. How does the story start? Hi, guys. Uh, it starts with actually telling my wife I was popping down to the shops and I'd be 20 minutes and I came back about two months later. Hey. Uh, oh my gosh. It's about what happened. I, yeah, I was in a horrific motorcycle accident. A guy turned across my path and uh, lots of damage to the body. Uh, the main one was though that I had a leg that uh, was more off than it was on. However, we thankfully have some great talented surgeons in this country that decided they'd give it a go in putting it back together rather than removing it. Wow. wow. Yeah, t you were told that you'd never walk again, let alone surf. Um, how was that recovery? I mean, how hard was that first step? Uh, look, when, when you're told that you might not walk again, it, it does something to your brain and you either get kicked up the butt or you, or you stay down and... Getting that first step done took months and, and I had three physios helping me every day just to stand uh, to get that balance before I even took that first step. But it was uh, scary and painful. Oh, Tim, um, talk to us about this incredible photo of yours. How did the idea for that come about? Uh, it came about because of uh, the ocean, <laughs> ultimately. <laughs> Every morning I get in at dawn. I don't know if you've ever been in, in the ocean, in the water, as the sun's popping its head over the horizon, but the water turns into this liquid gold and it, it just it cleanses your soul, ultimately. And I was starting the day in this calm, beautiful, happy way, but the rest of my day was, was filled with pain and frustrations and worries and mental you know, health issues of supporting my family insurance companies not supporting me, all this gamut of stuff and this juxtaposition of calm yet distress. And I needed the water, that was my representation of calm, mm. and I needed the complete opposite to, to represent that distress and pain, and, and that was fire, that was a flare. Wow. Wow, that is crazy. Yeah, so what, what, what were the biggest challenges on the shoot day then? Uh, the biggest one was the swell. It was a lot bigger than what we expected and and the, the tide was at a level where it was waist deep and moving at about 20, 30 k an hour for a good 100 metres and trying to break through that was with my bad leg was was just impossible wow. and thankfully my, my co-director Toby Lord was with me and he, he literally grabbed me and dragged me through the swell uh, in time, just in time to, to line up the shot and get it ready for before the sun came up. Wow, spectacular. You're incredible, Tim. Um, the film was almost part of your recovery process, but there's been an upside that you didn't expect, hasn't yeah. there? Yeah, very much so. Look, as a, as a visual artist, a photographer, I'd, I'd put this together. It was a very unique photo. And so I just wanted something to document it. And, and that was it. it. I didn't expect it to do anything. But I'd, once it was done, I had shown it to a friend and they suggested I enter it into a, an ocean film festival, uh, which I did. And it didn't do anything, but it got picked up by a number of other festivals and 11 nominations and, and seven awards later, I'm, I'm stoked with it absolutely stoked wow. wow you can check out more of tim's gorgeous photos and the distressed documentary at urbanripples.com tim thank you so much for sharing your amazing pictures and amazing story thank you thanks for having me take it oh, easy good on you tim now